New introduction here. I want to get everybody's attention for what I feel will be a lucrative opportunity. It's the first ever NYSE marijuana IPO. We're making history here, and I feel this is just the first stepping stone in what is going to be the start of many IPOs on both the NASDAQ and the NYSE. I feel we're going to have a marijuana sector and marijuana ETFs in the future. And this is just step number one. If you are familiar with the industry, that's all I have to say. I know you're interested already. If this is new to you, this is going to be, in my opinion, the greatest financial opportunity in our lifetimes. This has never happened before. We have a an established tens of billions dollar industry that the floodgates are going to open. It's becoming more and more legitimate legally. And this is just step number one. So Innovative Industrial Properties is the the company, the ticker is IIPR. It is a real estate, REIT, that invests in medical marijuana facilities. And for this IPO, we have a new website, www.mjipo.com. I put together an hour of research video going through the filings, researching the company and the executives, and establishing a game plan, looking at some other IPOs and how they have traded. We're going to have a chat room with live Q&A during that day, Tuesday, November 22nd. And we'll also have the live webcam where I'll be showing our charts, going over, pointing out key support and resistance levels, looking at the volume that's coming in. I'm really looking forward to this opportunity. I hope you will join us. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get into the charts. Hey, everybody. Going to be doing a quick video lesson here on Inside Candlesticks. You may have heard me say it, other people as well. It's a pretty quick concept and easy to grasp, so it shouldn't take too long. But... Once you have this knowledge, you can start keeping your eye out for it and watching how it plays out and seeing if you want to utilize this as a tool in your trader tool belt as well. So an inside candlestick is when the range of a candlestick on any time frame fits within the range of the previous candlestick. And we're just using the high and the low. The real body of the candlestick does not matter. And once that range breaks, after you have an inside candlestick, and we'll obviously go over some examples, if you break the high of the inside candlestick, it's a bullish break. If you break the low, it's a bearish break. And you can expect the break to last in that direction for as long as the candlestick lasts. So if it's on the daily chart and we get a bullish break of an inside candlestick, we're looking for a bullish day. If it's a bullish break on the hourly chart, we're looking for a bullish hour. So here's an example, biotech sector. And this last week and this week, we're seeing tons of inside candlesticks. So last week on Thursday, we had a volatile day. Friday, there's your inside candlestick. You can see the range fits completely within the range of Thursday. And on Monday, as soon as we broke that high of 66.45, we know the odds are significantly in the favor of a bullish day that day. And obviously, we closed at the high of the day. So here today, we have another inside candlestick, and that's the setup heading into tomorrow. A break of 67.93, we'll look for a bullish day. And a break of 66.50, we'll look for a bearish day. And you can just look back at previous examples on any chart, pick out those inside candlesticks, and watch how it played out. Here was an inside candlestick, bullish break, nice follow through. We had another one. Let's see here, one just caught my eye. I lost it now, but they're all over the place. And we can utilize them on all different kinds of time frames. So one thing that I have noticed is when the inside candlestick is broken with a gap, it seems that there's more fake out, so to speak. And obviously, this isn't a sure thing. It's just a way to tilt the odds in your favor to know what is more likely to happen. So we're going to be watching this biotech inside candlestick tomorrow, looking at FSLR. Last week, we had an inside candlestick and then a second inside candlestick. And when you have multiple inside candlesticks in a row, that break when it does occur after that range gets tighter and tighter is more magnified to the upside so we had a bullish break strength to the upside it had a three percent day that day on fslr when we broke that to the bull side and what it is is eventually reaching an equilibrium with the price getting tighter and tighter and tighter before a clear break here's facebook last week thursday dump friday inside candlestick monday as soon as we broke the low of friday 118.15 we knew to be looking bearish we had another dump here we are with another inside candlestick heading into tomorrow Break of 118.49 is bullish. Break of 115.83 is bearish. Also in the tech sector, Thursday, dump day on Apple, inside candlestick Friday. Monday, as soon as we broke 106.55 the low, that was a bearish signal. And here's another inside candlestick again today. A break of 106.16 is bearish tomorrow. And a break of 107.68 is bullish. 
I like this on the hourly time frame. I don't really like it on five minute time frames and shorter term because if you do get a break, you can only anticipate that move to last five minutes. So you have to be trading with pretty high capital for that to matter significantly. But I like the hourly. I like the daily. And I also like the weekly. The weekly can give you some nice longer term and the monthly. You can really use it on any time frame you want. It's just a way to tilt the odds in your favor. And they are all over the place. End of last week and again, setting up into tomorrow. So we have all kinds of inside candlesticks on watch. And again, just utilize this and see how it works for you. And if you notice that it's a pattern that is consistent and you like it, then you can factor it into your trading strategy. So just a little quick tip here. Hopefully it was useful. I appreciate you watching and we'll see you soon.